Good morning, everybody. Orin Jay here with another Ni no Kuni Crossworlds video, and today I'm going to do my equipment guide for this game. And equipment is one of the biggest sources of CP once you start getting into the crafting system. There's a lot there, though. There's the crafting system is pretty complex, so I'm going to go through it bit by bit here. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to, what, craft, level, upgrade, enhance, slot gems, all of it. I'm going to go through all of it right now so you know what to do and what to craft and level up because it is a little bit confusing. So let's jump in here and I'm at my guy. I'm at, uh, you can't see him. It's Tumba. He's hidden by all the cats. He's kind of a cat himself. Anyway, I'm going to click the crafting button. He's not a cat at all. He's a bird. That's why the cats are eating him. Fantastic. Anyway, here's the crafting area. So you have two options here, craft accessories. This is pretty straightforward. These are the drops you get from world bosses. So like right now I have some Vulcan earrings I can craft. I'm gonna craft two of those. Then I'll go into my inventory, consume them, and I have a chance of getting like a one to four star Vulcan earring. Really simple, right? You take your world boss drops, you come here, you cash them in, boom, and you might get lucky and get a four star. The much more complicated version is the weapons and armor crafting. This is the free gotcha part of the game where you take your farmed materials, your recipes, right here, right? Weapon recipes and your crystals and you turn them into weapons. Now note, it does take some territe here as well. So you need to be able to farm territe. I did my AFK farming guide earlier today. Go watch that video, Chaos Dungeons, where you're gonna get territe and world, world mob farming is where you're also gonna get a lot of crafting materials. So go check out that video if you wanna know where to like farm all of this stuff. This is the this is the gear video though. So um, a couple things to note. There is a pity system for crafting gear. You can get four stars just randomly. And in fact, people in my guild seem to get these all the time. And I've never, I've gotten one. I've lucked out and gotten one four star hammer from this. But the pity system looks like this. Um, after 30 crafts, you're guaranteed a three star. After 90, you're guaranteed another three star. And then after 200, you're guaranteed a four star with a 1% chance of getting like the super rare four stars. You can craft in batches of 100. Um, and so if you did two 100 batches, you would guarantee yourself a four star. Here's the thing. The pity is shared between both the weapon and armor tab. So if you really want a weapon and not an armor, make sure when you're hitting that four star pity, you're on the correct tab. I definitely need four star weapons. So for the sake of this video, I have 27 recipes and plenty of crystals. I'm gonna go ahead and craft 27 new weapons for myself. So here we go, we're gonna let it roll. You get nice little uh, slot machine music when you're doing this, which works. Now right here, I got three stars, one stars, and two stars. Okay, that was my first 10, second 10, here we go. What are we gonna get? Any fours? Any fours? Oh, that one was terrible. Mostly just ones and twos. And I'll show you what to do with those, by the way, as well. Okay, next roll. Come on, drop a four star on me. Nope, never lucky. Did not get a four star myself, but in only 84 more crafts, I'll be guaranteed a four star. So even if you're free to play, if you're farming these materials every day, you have a chance of getting lucky for four star weapons and armor, and you are guaranteed one every once in a while. Okay, let's jump into my inventory. And here we go. Okay, so you've got some equipment. The next thing you're going to want to do is go into this polish menu. This is where you can level up, upgrade, enhance, transfer, and awaken. Let's go through this bit by bit. The first thing is leveling up. When you go to level up gear, you want to use your varnishes. That's these right here to level up. These are a very rare and valuable resource in this game. I say very rare, they're gonna drop a bit, but you don't get enough of them to just be leveling up kind of whatever you want as you feel like it. You need to really focus in. So what I'm doing with my account is whenever I get a four star piece of gear, like here's my only four star hammer, I'm throwing all the water varnish that I have for weapons into that four star piece of gear. Since it's the only elemental weapon that I have, I have not used any of my varnishes for any other element. Instead, what I do when I want to level up, um, when I want to increase the power of a three star piece of gear, for example, is like, let's take, let's take this three star dark hammer right here. I have a couple duplicates of it. I can go down here to awaken and by consuming duplicates, it will increase the power. Like it'll, the attack will go from 284 to 332. The dark attack will go from 138 to 175. I get a 500 CP power increase. 
and that's fine. I think with your three stars, you can kind of bridge the gap from now until you get four stars by awakening. That's how you can get some power ups here. And then what you can do is focus on leveling up your very rare drops when you get lucky, those four star pieces of gear. Because when you're equipping gear in this game, you get to equip three weapons. Like if I go to my equipment screen here, I have one, two, three different weapons equipped. Now, your main hand weapon, the weapon you are using, you want to be using an elemental advantage weapon. So it is important to have one weapon of each element that you've at least invested something into, whether it's awakening a three star to use, or if it's your four star that's really powered up. But you get the stats from your other two equipped weapons. So you don't need to have like a full water weapon set. What you could do, like let's say I was fighting earth mobs and I wanted to use my fire weapon. Well, I would equip my fire hammer. That's the one I'd have in my hand, but I also have equipped my four star piece of gear that has 7.7 K CP and I'm getting all those stats. And I have my four awakened earth hammer. That's a three star. So I'm getting all those stat benefits, even though I'm not wielding the hammer actively. So you can really afford to focus on your lucky pieces of gear and use them in every one of your equipment sets. Just make sure that you're hitting mobs with the elemental advantage hammer. Now, when it comes to gear, um, I've gotten a lot luckier on gear. In fact, I've even gotten one ultra rare dynasty gloves drop. So I'm very comfortable just throwing my weapon varnish at these ultra rare pieces of gear. Let me go back to a uh, polish here, level up, let's go gear, and let's say I was wanting to level up these boots. They're currently level 28, and these are a pretty cool piece of boots, by the way. Monster kill gold right up. Yes, please. I'm cool with throwing varnish at this. Let's go ahead and level this thing up. It's four star, I'm wearing it, and I'm going to level it. Weapon, or er, armor varnish is a drop in the game. You can go farm, and again, my, my advice here is this. Focus on putting your varnishes on your four star pieces of gear. That's my tip. If you want to use three star pieces of gear because you need to bridge the gap between now and when you get lucky and get four stars, I advise awakening those and saving your varnish if you can. Now, if you've just got the worst luck in the world and you've hit a wall and you're like, look, I got to power up something. All I've got is three star weapons or three star gear. I need to level them. Hey, you do you. I'm just saying when you do get that four star later, you're going to be a little bit, uh, you're going to be a little bit bottlenecked in varnish. So that's my guide there for experience. Now you have the upgrade button next. The upgrade button is again, another one where you're really going to want to focus on your rare pieces of gear. This is what you can do. Like, let's take these, uh, let's take these dynasty gloves. It'll cost me this very, very valuable resource, armor upgrade stones. You don't get very many of these. It will also cost me 100 terite, which is farmable, but you don't get a ton of it. So these are both things you don't get a lot of. You really, again, focus on your best gear here. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do it. Let's hit this upgrade button. What do we get? These piece of gloves are going to get upgraded. It's my only ultra rare piece of gear. What do we get? Well, the CP goes from 9043 to 9122. I get some more HP and I get some more crit. Okay, that's cool. The most important thing I got there was not those stats. The most important thing I got was now it's level one again, so I can level it back up to 30. I have enough varnish right here. I can level it up to level four. I'll go ahead and do that. I gained, what, another couple hundred CP, more HP, more crit. Great, I can repeat this process. My account just gained 240 CP by doing that. So that's pretty cool. Now, just like weapons, you can consume your lower rarity gear to level it up. Let me give you my thought process here. Once you have a four star base piece of gear, I think you can consume the three stars if you want to. But what I like to do with my one and two star pieces of gear is actually jump into the equipment page here, jump into armor and disassemble it. Like I'm going to salvage this stuff. I'm going to select all the one and two star armors and I'm just going to get more recipes and more of these enhancement stones. So there we go. Let's go ahead. I'm going to salvage all that. What do I get? I got two... I got three total recipes and three enhancement zones and 380 crystals. This is a way you can do more crafting. You know, push yourself towards that pity faster. Get yourself more four stars. That's what I like to do there. Um, okay, 
that is, let me see if there's anything else I want to say about the upgrade button. No, the, you can see how leveling up and upgrade works together. My big advice here again is focus on the gear that you got lucky. If you got lucky on one thing, let that thing power up your account, throw resources into it. Next up, we've got enhance. Now, this is one where again, I think you're going to want to focus on. I'm going to go to my armor here. I have the Raider's armor, really good PVE piece of gear, right? I've already upgraded to five stars, damage from elite monsters down 11%. This will be great for tanking in-game stuff. Now, you can upgrade it with these stones or enhance it with these stones. Every time you enhance, um, it will it will it consume one stone up to a certain point when it will start uh, consuming two. Oh my gosh, my words. You can see the rate. There's only a 45% rate. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Let's see, do I get lucky? Did it work? Okay, success. I gained what? Almost 300 CP from that, and I gained a bunch of defense. Awesome. Let's do it again. 40% chance this time. This time it failed. But guess what? Failing is really not that big of a deal because you get these lucky clovers. You can take those lucky clovers to the Higgledy area and power up your account with them. Um, I'm not, I don't want to throw any more at that piece of gear. Let's go to those boots that I leveled up earlier. It's going to consume one a time here. I'm going to go ahead and start doing it. It's a guaranteed enhance. You can see I'm gaining hundreds of CP every time I do it. There's another Higgledy Flower. That was a little bit unlucky. That's two 80% failures. That's a rip. But it only takes one of these every time. Failing three times in a row at an 80% rate. Four times in a row. I'm cursed. This is the curse. Okay, there we go. Level up. I gained almost 100 CP. Gained a bunch of defense. That's great. Did it again. So eventually, what is it at? Plus five? Yeah, once you get it to plus five, once you're going for that plus five, that's when it will start um, consuming two. So keep that in mind if you want to spread them around a little bit, but focus again, use these. These are rare on your good gear. Let's go look at that Higgledy area. At some point in the game, in your power up, you're going to get Higgledies. I accessed this in like the 40-ish levels, and this levels up. You consume a little bit of gold and those clovers that you got, and watch this. I'm just going to gain some stats. Right here, I gained... What, uh, like almost 100 CP because I gained fire attack, water attack, earth attack. That's cool. Let's do it again. What did I gain this time? This time I gained, again, over a, almost 100 CP again, fire, fire, water, earth attack. And I've gained all of these stats right here that you see on the screen just by getting clovers. And the main way you get clovers is by failing enhancements for uh, the gear that you're working on. So if we go back into equipment, back to polish, I think that's all I have to say about enhancements. That's how it works. Again, Focus on your good stuff. Focus on your good stuff. Use those rare materials on your rare pieces of gear. That's the long-term way to go. Um, next up, enhancing, we just did that. So let's do enhanced transfer. This one's super easy. If for some reason you wasted, oh, excuse me. If you wasted enhancement material on a lower rarity piece of gear and later you got a better piece of gear, you can have your new piece of gear consume the old piece of gear to transfer over those enhancements. That's kind of cool pretty basic and then you have awaken this is what we covered earlier but again this is the thing you do like for example i'll show you I'll, I'll do some awakening this is my current earth hammer i've awakened it to a four awaken i have no four star earth hammer so i have nothing i want to throw my exp materials at so what i can do instead is just throw any duplicates that i craft or pull at it and now there we go. My Earth Hammer just gained almost 600 more CP, which is wonderful, and I'm just more powerful. I didn't have to use any of my rare materials. I just used duplicates of a hammer that I'm going to replace someday anyway, and boom, I'm feeling better about it. I get 600 CP for that. That's wonderful. Okay, so that's that. Now, there's one more thing. We need to talk about gems. Gems, you can farm these over in the Chaos Fields in the second and third floor. Uh, they are super, super powerful. You will get a massive CP boost from gems. Uh, there's two tabs. One is the gear. Once gear is four star, it opens up gem slots. If you get a gear to five star, it opens up a second gem slot. So you can sort by gear or you can sort by the actual um, gems that you have. Here's the ones that I have right now. There's heart, you know, diamond, spade, clover, and is this called joker? Yeah, this is the joker slot. So there's all these different slots. Let's go to imprint. That's going to be putting a gem in a piece of gear. I'm going to go to my raider armor right here. This is, again, a piece of gear I'm very invested in. So let's stick a gem in it. Here's a three-star gem that dropped. It's an accuracy gem, which will give me HP and accuracy. It is worth 641 CP just by itself. Now, I could level this up first 
with the level up screen, or I could slot it in and then level up. I'm going to go ahead and slot it in first. Let's imprint this into my gear. I instantly gain 650 CP. And if I want to level it up, I can come here. Here you see I have it equipped, so it's really easy to find. Let's level it. They only have five levels. Leveling them is really not that bad. Uh, let's use my one... Let's use my, yeah, one star varnishes. It took, what, 32? Boom, let's pop that level up. We leveled it from one to five, and we gained another, what, uh, over 100 CP, some HP, and some accuracy. Awesome. Now, we can upgrade it. I can come here. Here's my max level. It's level five. It only costs gold to do this upgrade right here. Boom, now it's a four star gem, and I gained, again, almost 100 more CP. Okay, great. Let's go back to leveling up. Well, my goodness, it's still only five levels. Let's level that sucker again. And you can see, uh-oh, right there, it took a little bit more. Looks like the, the four stars take a little bit more. Still, I'm going for it. Let's do it. I'm actually going to do that in a different order. I'm going to consume the big ones first, and then I'll consume the medium ones. Okay, there we go. If that took, I think, less materials overall. We'll see. Let's level this up again. We're going to get a big CP boost. We gained, what, 834 to over 1,000? So we're getting 1,000 CP just from this one gem slotted into one piece of gear. Um, then I could upgrade it again. Do I have the gold? I certainly do. Let's pop that upgrade. And now we have a five-star gem that gives 1.1K CP, 1.2K HP, and 58 accuracy. So you can see how just powerful these things are, and it makes the chaos field, the place where you can get these, very worth farming. Very worth farming. Um, now, you have this transcend button. What does this do? This is when you get a gem to six star, you can increase the max level of the gem. I don't have a six star gem yet, even though I could have one. I certainly could have one if I leveled this thing up again, but I don't think I have the materials. Um, and then you can also extract the gems. This requires um, an extraction hammer, something you have to go buy in the shop, but that's gems. Don't skip on gems. You can see I've been slacking in this area because I'm just now worried about gear a lot and just now getting four-star gear leveled up and equipped. Well, I feel like once I go through and slot in a bunch of gems, I'll be able to take my CP from its current 258 to like that 270, 280 range just from this. So that's super, super powerful. And that's going to be the end of this like gear walkthrough. Um, again, I want to stress this. I know I say again a lot. I'm sorry about that. My mantra here is you're going to get lucky sometimes. And with gotcha games like this, you might not always get exactly what you wanted, but you're going to get something. The way to take advantage as a low spender or free to play player is lean in to what you get lucky on. That's why I think you should hold your leveling materials as long as possible and throw them all in when you get lucky to get that big power spike. You might never get lucky, there's pity systems for that, but you do get tickets just from playing the game, and if you're a light spender, you can get access to a lot more tickets through those like daily bonus packs and things like that. So that's gonna be the video, guys. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you see just how impactful leveling up your gear can be. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Peace.